So in this video, we are going to see how we can validate something onto the screen using RESTful ABAP programming. So this is how our current application look like and uh, this is the object page. And in our last video, we have added the crude capability for this table, item tables. So this is the page it looks like. So what we are going to do in this video is uh, we will be adding validation on one of the field of the root entity. So let's start. To put a validation in a web restful application programming, there is a concept of validation and uh, that can be defined in the behavior definition file. Okay, this is what our behavior definition file currently looks like. We have two different uh, behavior definition, one for the root entity and another is for our item entity or the association. Okay, we want to validate one field from the root entity. Let's go to our root entity behavior definition and uh, we have already defined a custom action. So now we will be defining a validation here. So for defining a validation, we have a keyword here, validation. And uh, then you need to provide a method name, validate age. For example, we are validating the age for the student on. And we want to validate this when user clicks on the save button while saving the record so before saving it will validate the age if it valids then the record will be saved otherwise we will show an error message onto the screen that's what we are planning to do okay on which field you want to add a validation so you need to select the field and our field is age and uh, when do you want to validate this on which method so at the time of create okay now this is the validation syntax for a specific field now this method doesn't exist let's create this method you see a yellow button here click on this and uh, you will see here add method of validation validate age of entity this right so double click on this and a new method would be created for you in the same class file so this was our last method set admitted and uh, this is our new method which got created here okay now let's add some small code here so first we need to do is we need to read the entity just like we did here for uh, reading the student's record okay this will be same thing let's copy this and paste so we are reading this entity from this table this entity and uh, we are reading all of the fields but we just need to read the age field here right entity and then we will not be reading all of the fields but we will be reading fields age with corresponding keys and the result would be in the students age table okay now we will put a loop here so loop at students age into data student students age and student age so here we will get our single record let's do and loop here and now here we will check the age which is been updated onto the front end we will put if condition here asking 
if student age is less than 21 if the student age is less than 21 then we will append the value with percent tky is equal to student age hyphen need to take the key here student percent tky to we have a failed and we can take it so student entity okay so now we are appending it to failed table so the what this will do if there is any failure then that would be updated into this table failed table okay now put here and if so this will only this statement will only collect your error okay but you still need to show the same error onto the front end so for that you need to add it to another table which is reported table for that again append value and then hash and uh, percent tky is equal to key so there will only be one value and okay and then what we need to do is we need to add the message here so message will be inside this so we are passing a key and then percent this is just like same uh, we display a message in normal about so that's what we are doing so here we have a class message with text you can also use new message if you have message id message number and all those things but for demo purpose we are using a direct message with text class here okay and so it will have a round and this will contain your severity so severity is interface above underscore behavior message and uh, what kind of message it is severity is error so this will show message in the error format and what message you want so for that we have a text field and we can say a message age cannot be less than 21 so this is how we collect the message this one is this so let's take it here and now where we need to append this we need to append it to reported and what we want to report we want to report the student entity it's the same thing which we have added here okay so same thing if we get any error in this then we are reporting the same thing here and we do have end if and uh, that's it this is our method created and let's activate so there is some error okay so this is one important point here if you will activate individually this will not be activated because you have created a behavior definition here as well and you have made the changes into the class as well okay so you need to use this activate all object button here 
so click on this and then click on ok and then you will you need to select the object so these are our objects so this is our behavior definition and this is our class activate still there is some error what it is saying the key unknown but there is a field keys okay to put keys here and let's try to activate now definition activate okay so now our objects are activated now let's go to our service binding and uh, refresh once and run the application let's close the older one click on go and uh, now open this click on edit so we have validation on the age let's make it 24 and uh, save it got saved now let's edit and uh, make it 20 which is less than 21 and try to save it here you go so you got an error message here edge cannot be less than 21 so this is how we display the error messages into a BAP restful application programming model in the next video we will be seeing which is determination how to use the determination in a BAP restful application programming model that's all for now in this video and uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel Thank you.